for working with the Cisco Digital Media Manager, then the player, the digital media player, or the DMP, obtains power from the power cube or from inline power on the switch. Then the DMP, just like everybody, loads a locally stored image. And if DHCP is enabled, it requests an IP address. Otherwise, it uses static. You know, we can do the same thing with a regular phone or the VCS registration. And with the DMP, we can do the same thing. Either statically configure it or use DHCP. So if the Cisco DMP endpoint is configured with an IP address, it's going to also need to have the IP address of the digital media manager. And if it does have that, it will continue on and register with the DMM. To verify the digital media manager and the phones or the DMPs that have registered with it, we want to gain access to the admin page. So we're going to type in the IP address of the DMM, and then we're going to use a colon 8080 as the access. Then we'll put in the admin credentials and we click login. Once we've logged in, we're going to click Digital Signs. Then we'll click the Digital Media Player tab. Once we click the Player tab, then we're going to see the registration status. And just like all our interfaces, you know, we'll look to see that things are registered. And if they're not, try to figure out what's happened and why they aren't registered.